Hello friends and as part of multi-tab shopping cart by using PHP with Ajax and Query, in previous video we have made multi-tab shopping cart and in this shopping cart we can add product in shopping cart and remove product from shopping cart. But in this tutorial we will update shopping cart product item. So suppose we want to change product quantity in shopping cart so we can update product quantity in shopping cart. We will update shopping cart product quantity by using PHP script with Ajax query. So when we have change product quantity then automatically whole shopping cart total price will be update. This is our multi-tab shopping cart.php page on this page we have already make multi-tab shopping cart. But now we want to update product quantity in shopping cart. So in car tab we have add text box and replace of product quantity. Here we have write input type is equal to text with name is equal to quantity array. It is equal to quantity with echo dollar values producted variable. It will generate unique id of all text box. Then after we have write value is equal to echo dollar values product quantity variable. In value we have store product quantity from dollar session shopping cart variable. In this text box we have add one more attribute data product it is equal to echo dollar values product and here we have store product it under this attribute and we will fetch value of this attribute in query code and lastly we have write class is equal to quantity we will use this class name as selector in query code this way we have create text box with product quantity value and replace from product quantity same way we have moved to action.php page and on this page we have also add quantity text box here. So for this here we have write input type is equal to text name is equal to quantity. It is equal to quantity with dollar values product and variable. Value is equal to dollar values product quantity variable. Data product it is equal to dollar product and variable and class is equal to quantity. This way we have create text box here also for update product quantity. Here we have create unique id by putting product it with quantity and we have store product it and data product it attribute. So when we have add product into cart then in this cart we can see that number of quantity C in text box so we can easily change product quantity. But when we have changed this quantity then cart total must be changed and when we have refresh page then this product quantity must not be changed. So for this we have moved to write query code on this text box key up event and quantity must be update in session shopping cart variable and total of cart must be change. So in query we have write dollar document dot on method and under this method we have write key up event on quantity which is class of text box with function. So when we have change product quantity then this code will execute. Under this first we have write product it variable is equal to dollar this data product it. This code will fetch value of product it from data product it attribute by using this data method and store under product it variable. For getting value product quantity text box we have defined one quantity variable is equal to dollar this value method. This code will fetch value of product quantity from text box by using value method and store into quantity variable. Then after we have write action variable is equal to quantity change, we will use this variable value in PHP script for define quantity change action in PHP script. After this we have write if statement with condition like quantity variable not equal to blank. This condition will check if quantity variable has some then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have defined dollar $AJAX request and under this request we have defined first option URL to action.php page. 
this option defined we have to send request it to this page. Then after we have set method option set to post, here we have set post method for send data to server and after this we have defined data type JSON. After this we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want to send to server, here we want product ID, quantity and action variable data sent to server. And lastly we have write success callback function, this function will be called if request sent successfully and this function will receive data from server which is stored under this data. From this request we will receive updated shopping cart and table format. So we want to display that shopping cart under division tag with id order table. So under this function we have write dollar order table id with HTML method and under this method we have write data dot order table. This is because we have received data in JSON format. Now we have moved to action.php page for writing code for update product quantity. So on this page here we have write of statement with condition like dollar post action variable is equal to quantity change. This code will check if dollar post action variable is equal to quantity change. Then after it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for each loop with condition like dollar session shopping cart as dollar keys arrow dollar values. By using for each loop we can fetch keys and values of dollar session shopping array. Under this loop we want to search producted which is equal to dollar post producted variable and then after we want to update quantity of that producted. So for this we have write if statement with dollar session shopping cart dollar keys with producted equal to dollar post producted variable. This condition will check if dollar session shopping cart array any keys product it is equal to dollar post product it variable then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we want to update product quantity of that dollar session product it product by quantity which we have enter in shopping cart quantity text box. So we have write dollar sessions shopping cart dollar keys product quantity is equal to dollar post quantity variable. This will update product quantity of particular product. This way we have update particular product quantity in session shopping cart array and in below code which we have already discussed in previous video. In that code we have display updated dollar session shopping cart array in table format. Here we have also calculate total price of product and we have also calculate total of shopping cart. So when we have update quantity of shopping cart then after this shopping cart with product quantity, price and total of cart will be update and store into this dollar order table variable and then after we have convert this data in JSON sting and send back to Ajax request. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that in product tab we can see list of product when we have click on any product add to cart product then in cart tab we can see one that means we have add one product in cart and when we have click on cart tab then we can see that shopping cart details in table format. Here we can change product quantity by writing number of quantity into text box. When we have changed product quantity then total of whole shopping cart has been changed, quantity of that product has been changed and total price of that product also be changed without page refresh. This is because we have used Ajax method with jQuery for this operation. When we have changed quantity then it has been send requested to for update particular product quantity under shopping cart and whole shopping cart will be updated. So this is my video tutorial on how to update shopping cart by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.